Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Crusader Kings 2 series that I'm going to call The Shattered and Dead World. I'm your host, Kelvin, and as you might have already noticed, we have enabled the Shattle, Shattered Wolf. Sh 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 shattered World mod, which splits the entire world up into single province miners. We'll be playing as the Count of Baghdad, or Chief of Baghdad, as you will see. In addition to this, we will be playing with deadly major epidemics. The plague will come 20 years into the game and will never stop coming. The world will burn over and over again. Warning, this setting is not recommended for a normal game. It is very apt. But that's part of the fun. The goal of this series for anyone wondering will just be to not die. Which, but, I mean, it's a pretty lofty goal, actually. <laughs> and I really wish it wasn't such a lofty goal. Sadly, it is. We're also playing with more minor epidemics, because why not? And as I talked about as for why we're chief, well, you'll see in a moment. There we go. Baghdad. What? Every province is a equal seven holding tribe. Yep. And damn, does that suck. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not a good thing, that's for sure. So, we have a 20-year reprieve in which the plague will not come. Alright, well, we don't need a Kordai Mam, I guess. Train troops... Or we could organize a raid. No, we want definitely to be training troops. Uh, we don't need to settle a tribe because this is already our culture. We need to study technology. I guess we'll send you to Constantinople to do it. And we don't need claims. Alright. Make everyone tribal again. Yada yada yada. Remove Gavelkind. Do we use Gavelkind? No, we have Muslim succession. Good. That's what I like to see. In addition, ooh, a nice wife to start us off with. Real solid wife. Good. All right. So we've got a lot of levees we're going to need to build up here. And thanks to building legend, we'll have the ability to use raised tribal army. And perhaps someday in the future, maybe even adopt a merchant republic or feudalism. We shall see. Hmm... Mmm. Chief just gains 10 fertility. But for 10 gold, that's a lot of gold. Uh. No. Though we should probably go on a Hajj. I will say a Hajj would not be a terrible thing. Hashmadin is no longer steward. Onwards to Mecca. Yep. Pointed regnant. That's fine. Traveling to Mecca gives time for reflection. A man should not go into excess when it comes to food and should always abstain from wine. Alhamdulillah. Of course we will listen to the old man. The old man quotes the messenger of Allah. May Allah bless him and grant him peace from Sunan Ab Dawood. The most evil traits of man are severe stinginess and uninhabited, uninhibited cowardice. Gain one marshal. As you arrive in Mecca, you change from your traveling clothes and dress in a white Aram clothing. The cloth is intended to make everyone appear the same, as in the eyes of Allah there is no difference between a chief and a puppet. Or a pauper. Sorry. I am humbled. Ooh. We will, I think, definitely go with humble. And ooh, plus one health. Of course, the infidels will shatter. No wounded. Bonus points for us. Alright. Now. Domain size is 4 right now. Although I think that will go up. In that case, I'm going to focus on hunting. Oh, good. And we now have someone who can actually function there. Perform charity. Build zeal. I think building zeal would not be terrible. Yeah, 1.2. Because we're going to need all the prestige and all the piety we can get. 
Speaking of which, we can now that we have 50 piety, we can embrace a school. Which we will embrace the Ashari school. Which, if anyone remembers, is plus one piety per month. The right path. Oh, fuck. Alright. The regency's over. Now we need to start rebuilding our levies. After our rather incompetent regent decided that it would be a great idea to be bad at Marshall. <laughs> the White Lion. Of course, we'll send people out to find it. And good, the wife is Pregu. We'll want that. And I think we're also going to want to take additional wives. Oh, no, wait. I can't take additional wives, can I? No. I can take concubines, however. Unfortunately, there are none with which I can take. Saddle my horse. White lion right off the bat would be mighty handy. And I become to Shelby. Good. 20% chance of brawny. Yes. Yes. All right, the gods look favorably upon me this game. Mm. And so they freaking should. I'm undertaking one of the hardest challenges that this game will ever have. All right. Let's begin preparations. Minus 10%. Minus 10%. Plus 15%. Minus 20, eh? Inner levies. So you're pretty weak. Yeah. Ilium is, uh, is looking pretty weak. I'm not gonna lie. Though I'm gonna wait for a full complement of soldiers, obviously. It'd be very wise. Fuck, we don't even have a court physician, do we? Okay. Um. Oh yeah, remove new costs, please. Get rid of those, because those are terrible and should never be used. Um. Apparently, I also don't have the decision to invite one. That's concerning. Uh. Be a no valid candidate. Oh dear. Oh well. I have to make do. I guess tribes don't get that decision. Hmm. Matters of life and death. With age and wisdom, they say, or at least it may change, the questions we ask. You mutter to yourself, you have had trouble sleeping lately, more often than not. While the rest of your court is sound asleep, you find yourself staring at the ceiling. You are getting older. You stay close to leaving this plane of existence. It is a folly to fear such things, of course, yet you cannot sleep these. You cannot keep these feelings at bay. Didn't you used to dream of grander things? What about, what about you carving your own path? What happened to your ambition? You sit up straight in bed. This is ridiculous. You are the ruler. You have people ready to serve your any whim. Perhaps the counselors have ideas or nothing else might ease your trouble sleeping. You haven't tried counting sheep yet. Interesting. Let's see where this goes. Summon the council. Very well. Meeting of minds. The council's going to convenes and faces your and the face of your advisors speak of confusion why are we here my lord it comes with a hint of concern you sit down and suspense is almost tangible as you leave the question hanging in the air finally you speak and without disclosing much of your current nightly restlessness you convey the message eloquently enough i want to discuss the concept of life and death and i want to look into everlasting life they nod slowly so what do you think oh fuck there's, there's no way that the game is going to give me immortality, right? No. No, no, no. Not on my first life. Not before the plague. This game. This... Praise Allah, I guess. <laughs> As she's growing older, I can see that Nastaran could use some guidance in one of my experienced areas, the art of war. Uh, he's straight stressed. No, she'll learn on, his, on her own. 
I can get it. There is hope. Ah, uh, sure, a wonderful idea. Acts of non-aggression with people far, far away are acceptable. Alright. The army is prepared and assembled. Yeah, this uh, this sucks. It costs us 50 piety. This is one of the reasons why I've pushed so much for piety. Because we also lose 2 piety at month while at war with Muslims. Sure. I mean, he's going to try and run around me, which will work all of not at all. Oh, this is 100% already. Enforce our demands, then. Now, where were we? I'm not going to say I believe the stories, but we have picked up on some promising information, my lord, Abdul Azim says. However, we could do with some more supplies if we are to journey even further. In fact, I'd like to send word to higher scouts in certain more distant regions. If we are allowed to follow leads and continue this mission, he pauses at the door, his posture strained. Of course, there are other ways to reach eternity, he sighs. When you open your mouth to respond indignantly, he interrupts, I suppose the attitude comes with the job, master. My apologies. The marshal exits the room. His step growing fainter as you consider your options. I shall send word to the whole world if need be. Because that would be really freaking handy right now to have. Saddle the horse, I suppose. Wow. Eh, this time it will not escape, we hope. It's my own failure. It's fine. Alright. I feel like I should probably try and focus on these areas and actually acquire places within my capital duchy. Because I'm going to need four for Baghdad, is it? Yeah. I'm going to need four counties for Baghdad, so... Nine hundred. We still outnumber them pretty significantly. Six. All right. Well, we have two holdings, so even if he does siege one down, no matter what, we've won. But it's not fast enough. Building our empire. There's nothing that can be done to stop it. The book Kitab al-Mutabar, the book of what has been established by personal reflection by Abdul Barak Ab... whatever, has recently pr been produced in Baghdad, and Chief Caleb is most curious of the man to write such an anti-Aristotelian philosophical work. My leader wishes to talk to you. I have no idea who you are, but sure, let's talk. An extraordinary anti-Aristotelian philosophical work whoever, or a book of what has been established by personal reflection, but who is the man behind the book, this guy? After hours of discussing philosophy with Guy, I offered him a place in my court to make sure he could continue working on his books. Welcome. I suppose. Uh, alright, well let's check on... Dead from bad case of the flu. Well, on the plus side... You can always be a court physician. Your marshal looks lost for words. Master, I'm not sure what to think. He checks his searches for the correct way to frame himself. My chief, she is impressive. I cannot put my finger on it, not to mention she's traveled far. His face conveys uncertainty as he shifts his weight. I see, you say, searching on your head. My lord, I can still send her away. Whatever you. Alright. Apparently we've got some mystic in our court now. Like, what's going on? I, 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 I have too many, like, plot lines going on right now to follow them all coherently. <laughs> Alright, let's see. You, you're young, you're beautiful, we'll get married. New waifu. Problem solved. Okay. Congratulations. Award honorary title. Uh, you are the court physician. And... 
Oh uh, yeah, I can't actually get rid of my Cordai Mam. That's right. Stupid Islam rules. Alright. Good. An intriguing encounter. A tall figure... Oh, here we go. Oh boy. Well, she's got a lot of martial, I'll give her that. The tall figure offers you a nod, but does not smile. She eyes you skeptically, measuring you up as much as you are her. Her clothing, possibly intended to be modest, is foreign to you, and you have trouble conceding your con concealing your confusion. In fact, the warrior woman before you is bound to stand out in the court in more ways than one. I am Achita, you are Galvin, she says. As if somebody had forgotten to introduce you. Perhaps you should have spoken the first words to assert your position. But the muscular woman makes you more than a little nervous. I hear you are looking to live forever, she finally says. More a statement than a question. I can help. I will accept your teachings. Temple vassal opinion. <sighs> oh no, thank god we don't have any temple vassals. It's a hundred piety which blows, but... Consorting with infidels is acceptable. I'm not going to do that because that might fuck up the line. The uh, line. Okay. Nastaran. Shrewd, which will replace dull, thankfully. I'll take you as a concubine as well. Very good. Are these events part of the Reaper's Due? Yes. Yes, they are part of the Reaper's Due. There is the chance of immortality, actually, in the Reaper's Due. It's very unlikely, and considering the game and the amount of luck I'm having right now, uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to roll with it, right? I'm not sure if I actually want to go after the Nestorians, because then they might join in against me uh, as a whole. I feel like it might... Be easier to go after anyone else. So, you're in here? Yeah. Literally anyone else. Oh wow, this guy is... Now that's... Me picking on this guy is just wrong. Like, just the meanest thing I could possibly do. A serious concern. Jahan joins you after supper one evening. He initiates a conversation about the status of trade in the realm, but you notice he seems distraught. You interrupt Jahan and demand to know why he sought you out. My lord, I fear for your life, he says earnestly. Who is the sacrilegious heathen you have invited to your court? Her promises are sweet, I am certain, but she cannot be trusted. Please, my lord, allow me to find out her true motives before it's too late. Nonsense, I'm sure you're overreacting. Justice shall always prevail. Right. My wife is pregnant. Excellent. In honor of the ancestors. Ayachita sits on the floor when you enter the room. What looks like polished pieces of bone strewn out in front of her. She motions you to join her. You have neglected your spirit, she says. Eyes closed. You shift uncomfortably in your seat. I have not, you mumble. Her eyes open and this and ah, open at this, and she stares at you. A steely cold look, and you retract your statement. You must sacrifice, she declares. Very well, you reply, thinking that you have learned Maktar C to it. As if she could read your mind, she takes it to it and must do this on your own. Do you see what I see? You notice know, a pattern of bones looks just like An antelope, how curious. Very good. A bloody mishap. All was well until you tried placing an animal in the ceremonial stone slab. You're surprised at strength. It moves wildly under your hands, and fuck. We failed immortality. On top of that, we got severely injured. I knew there was no way the game was just going to give this to me. 
I was hoping. I was hoping. I, I, I was hoping. But there, there was no way the game was going to give that one to me. Yeah, we're going to need all the fucking health we can get now. Mm-hmm. So close. Yet so far. Alright. Well, that's taken care of now. At least we don't have to worry about it anymore, right, guys? Right, 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 guys? Ah, uh, dear. Alright. Let's just conquest this place and get it over with. Oh dear, I don't not have enough levies, do I? Uh, I might have just fucked up. Really bad, I might add. Lose the trait, severely injured. Good. Alright, well, that's fine, then. We're still reinforcing. I, I don't think we've lost automatically, then. Good news, everyone. I, sh I probably should have paid more attention to that. that. That was something I very much so should have totally paid attention to. Alright. We'll be okay, though. Ah, good. Increase the levy reinforcement rate. That will help. Wonderful. The only tech points that we have yet. Not good pickings out here, I'll say that. January 22nd, January 24th. Delay leaving. Oh, yeah. So, January 24th will be when we want to raise. Raise our levies! There we are. Overpower them. Good. Started out a little rough, but I think we're... Whoa! The shit? Where did he... Like, did he just pull a tribal army? Prestige from own buildings plus five? Yeah, he just pulled a tribe army, didn't he? Yeah, let's saddle my horse. Well, fuck. I mean, I guess I lose, but... Okay. That kind of sucked. Ow. Yeah, no, he uh, he has prestige from own building. Plus five. What? What? What kind of hacks is this? Is that a claimant to my titles. Oh, great. Just what I need. Alright, well, it's pretty obvious that, my, that the AI here is hacking. Oh, right, I need a piety of 50. Well, that'll come at the end of the month. No, Conquest doesn't put me in direct conflict with him, I guess. Alright. No, I apparently not. I was going to say I can totally raise my troops and fight against him, but 
Oh no, he's now defending against me. Oh good. Alright. Well, you hacked an army of 3,000 one time, but you know what I will say? You can't do that twice. I don't know how you did it the first time, but I'm confident in saying you can't do it twice. Done. Now if I had money, I could create the touch of your Baghdad. You always strive to be so humble, never forgetting the roots of yourself and your ancestors. There are many lessons from the past that must still be heated today. I will not forget. Those two decadents. Good, we'll need that. Still three women thus far. Hmm. Yeah, that sucks. So, November this year. You have to deal with some random adventurer from here. Alright, well, let's gather our soldiers up then. Wife is pregnant. Get more wives, we can't. Uh, we need to get concubines, actually. Of which we can take one now. Good news. Yeah, I'm not sure what the hell your hacks are, sir, but I'm impressed with them. Prestige from own building. Like, what building do you own? Is my question. Like, is, is this something like, like all AIs get or something and I'm not paying attention to? Yes. Okay. So, it is actually just straight up an AI hack that all AIs get. That is acceptable. And do, do your best. Four daughters in a row. This, this is not going to end well for us, is it? Why am I even paying that quack? Oh dear, I also needed additional leaders. Luckily, it didn't matter this time. Desert expert, potentially. I'm going to be the light foot leader. Uh, because we are a tribe. And thus we will have to deal with that. Alright. Let's withdraw to our area. And let him recover a little bit, shall we? Treat her. Roll in five daughters in a row. So, thus far, I've come to the conclusion that there is... that the truth behind this... Finally... I'll seize all your money as well. That'll help. There we are. I proclaim the Duchy of Baghdad as our own. Excellent. It's a start. Special Tuttle actions possible. That's right. We can set a crown focus as well. Don't mind if I do. Also, build trade post. Good. Alright. We got something going, at least. So, this kingdom of Mesopotamia. Alright, so we'll need 13 provinces. That's within reason, I would say. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Alright, and how's the rest of the world doing? pretty slow. I actually don't think there has been any conflict in the rest of the world yet. And in the meantime, I'm consolidating enough power to try and uh, dig in and hold on for what is going to be a rough ride. We know what's coming. We know what's coming. 
And I have a vast limit of 12, that'll be good. Also should be noted that I should work on improving my uh, tribal organization. Do, don't I? Oh yeah, right. I can just do this whenever, can't or something, can't I? Oh no, I I can do the first two back to back. Then technically the council has to vote on it. Right. Of which I'm sure everyone will just support. No. Well. That'll be enough. Right. Good. Which unfortunately does create power for the council, but that's okay. That's okay. Unfortunately, we also can't change any of this until we reach absolute tribal organization. That's okay, though. So, that's going to do it for the first episode. This, this game thus far has been the most massive cock tease ever. We have so far managed to roll five female children in a row and get denied immortality. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little, little salty right now. A little, little salty. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. I knew the game wasn't gonna just hand me a free fucking key on a silver platter here never does oh well thank you everybody for watching this oh, oh wait this is the first episode so don't forget to like comment and subscribe it's really important on first episodes so thank you everybody for watching this has been your lovely host galvin signing off <laughs>